what you're going to hear about and what you literally will see is us going into the 21st century. The future for the Lansing School District is green. What we're starting with are four different locations this winter, this fall and this winter, um, but the entire project will encompass 11 different sites, including roofs and a ground mount site for solar. And leading the way in a green energy initiative, starting with solar panels. For the capital region, Lansing and the areas surrounding it, this is the most ambitious set of solar projects of any school district in the area. The district partnered with Board of Water and Light, Absolute Solar, and Energy Independent Solutions to install the panels. We're installing the racking um, for a project like this for the schools. It's chassis that are way down on the roof with concrete blocks. And then on top of that, the solar panels are mounted. The solar panel project is just one of several green initiatives the district has received grants for. We've been able to bring in $16 million worth of grants, some for solar and some for other sustainability projects. Going green with electricity will cut costs. Just the one year energy cost savings will be over $400,000 and over a life of 30 years, it'll be around $11 million. And improve health and safety for students and staff. I think everybody realizes that we can no longer afford to continue living the way we've been living with fossil fuels and we realize that there needs to be some changes. Panels are already going up at North and Pattongill with more to come. These projects will almost completely take care of the electricity needs that we have in the schools that we're installing these in, so we're super excited about that. We can then take that money and turn around and use it in our classrooms for our students. While the energy initiative starts with solar panels, it doesn't end there. I would say Lansing School District is really at the forefront of this work because they not only are focused on solar energy, but are focused on things like electric school buses, efficiency upgrades to their buildings. Leading the way to a more sustainable education environment in the city. As we move forward, we're only looking at sustainable and green initiatives in our in our buildings and while we can't make them 100 percent sustainable we're definitely going to do as much as we can